Welcome back, viewers. Today, we dive into a topic that has captivated the world for years, the rise of Kim Jong-un, the supreme leader of North Korea. The story begins with the unexpected passing of Kim Jong-il in 2011, leaving the leadership of North Korea to his son, Kim Jong-un. Although the North Korean regime has heavily restricted information that comes in and out of the country, Kim's life is not a complete mystery. Kim Jong-un is believed to have been born on the 8th of January 1982 or 1983 to Kim Jong-il and Ko young hui His year of birth is not yet confirmed by the North Korean government, unlike his father's and grandfather's birthdays, which are celebrated as national holidays. Kim Jong-un's early life in North Korea was characterized by a high level of secrecy, and there is limited information about his childhood and upbringing. Kim Jong-un later moved to Switzerland and spent a significant portion of his youth there. He was sent to Switzerland for his education under a pseudonym to keep his identity secret. From 1996 to 2001, Kim Jong-un attended the International School of Bern in Gumlingen, near Bern. During this time, he studied under the alias Pak Un and maintained a low profile. He was described as shy, a good student who got along well with his classmates and liked to play basketball. In 2001, Kim's time in Switzerland abruptly came to an end when he returned to North Korea. The circumstances surrounding his departure are not fully clear. After his return to North Korea, Kim Jong-un attended Kim Il-sung University with his elder brother Kim Jong-chol from 2002 to 2007. Kim obtained two degrees, one in physics at Kim Il-sung University and another as an army officer at the Kim Il-sung Military University. Before we continue, if you are enjoying this video, please hit that like button to help this video reach more people and help grow the channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kim Jong-un's eldest half-brother, Kim Jong-nam, had been favored to be the successor, but reportedly fell out of favor after 2001 when he was caught attempting to enter Japan on a fake passport to visit Tokyo Disneyland. Kim Jong-il reportedly thought that his second son, Kim Jong-chol, was too feminine in character and could not succeed him. Therefore, Kim Jong-un was widely seen as his successor. Kim Jong-un was quickly promoted up the political and military ladder, despite lacking military experience. In 2009, he was named to North Korea's National Defense Commission and in 2010 promoted to a four-star general and named vice chairman of the Central Military Commission as well as to the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea. In 2011, after the death of his father, Kim Jong-il, he was publicly declared the Supreme Commander of the Korean People's Army and the Supreme Leader of North Korea. In 2012, North Korean state media reported for the first time that Kim Jong-un was married to Ri Sol-ju. Little is known about her, other than the fact that she was a singer in the Unhasu Orchestra that has made several overseas performances. They are believed to have three children, though their ages and gender have been kept a secret. Upon assuming power, Kim Jong-un faced the challenge of solidifying his position within the regime. Executions of top officials, among them his uncle Jong song Thek, who was a member of Kim Jong-il's inner circle and had served as a virtual regent for the younger Kim after his father's death, marked his early years, indicating a ruthless approach to maintaining control. He also appeared more accessible and open than his father, hugging and linking arms with young and old. This period also saw the development of North Korea's nuclear program, raising global concerns. In 2017, Kim Jong-un's half-brother, Kim Jong-nam, died after being poisoned at Malaysia's Kuala Lumpur International Airport. South Korea's intelligence agency later said that Kim ordered his death. This event heightened the suspicion of North Korea's leadership. In the same year, a war of words erupted between Kim and U.S. President Donald Trump over North Korea's nuclear program. Donald Trump had demanded immediate denuclearization of North Korea. Best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury. And Kim Jong-un responded by trying to test a nuclear missile. As the two leaders continued insulting each other, odds of a war between the two countries seemed to increase. But then, in 2018, things took another turn. Kim made a surprise trip to Beijing and meets with President Xi Jinping. The trip was Kim's first trip abroad 
since he took the reins after his father, Kim Jong-il, died in late 2011. Just one month later, Kim made history when he met with South Korean President Moon Jae-in, becoming the first North Korean leader to set foot in South Korea in 65 years. Later that year, Kim met with Donald Trump in Singapore. It was the first meeting between a sitting president of the United States and a North Korean leader. Kim went on to call his relationship with Trump special. In 2019, Kim and Russian President Vladimir Putin held their first ever summit in the Russian city of Vladivostok. Later that year, Kim greets Trump at the border between North and South Korea. Trump became the first sitting president to enter North Korea. He took 20 steps beyond the border and shook hands with Kim, although their talks did not appear to have yielded any new commitments to denuclearization. In April 2020, rumors circulated about Kim Jong-un's health following his absence from public events. Speculation ranged from health issues to even rumors of his death. Eventually, Kim reappeared in public, dispelling many of the rumors. Over the years, North Korea has faced economic difficulties, exacerbated by international sanctions. In 2021, the Korean Central News Agency reported that Kim had admitted his country was facing food shortages that he blamed typhoons and floods. Despite these challenges, North Korea has continued to advance its nuclear weapons program, conducting missile tests and developing new capabilities. Lately, Kim Jong-un has been seen appearing in public with her daughter, believed to be Kim's second child, Kim Ju-ai, who is around 10 years old. This has led to speculations that she is possibly being groomed as his eventual successor in an authoritarian family regime dating back decades. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the rise of Kim Jong-un. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content.